The competition here includes the French champions, a young pair from Russia, and the world bronze medalists. Here are Terry Gannon and Olympic medalist Peter Carruthers. It is extremely difficult to beat anyone on their home ice, no matter what sport you're talking about. But Peter, here in the pairs competition, that's what the Americans are trying to do. Kyoko Ina and John Zimmerman in second place, right behind the French, Sarah Abbey Bowl and Stefan Bernadies. It should be a great showdown to watch because the two are neck and neck overall in the Grand Prix standings, too. Well, the French team of Abby Ball and Bernadies are on their home ice, so there's an advantage there. But they also have the fact that they've been together since 1992, so the experience that's necessary for the important throws and lifts all in place for this French team. The Americans, Ina and Zimmerman, lately, they picked up a silver medal at Skate Canada. They've only been together since July of 98. However, the confidence is coming through in the short program. John Zimmerman looked very solid with his jumps. So if Ina and Zimmerman stand up in this free program and skate well, they can challenge the French in this free program. Sarah Abidbal, Stefan Benedis. They are the favorites to win gold here in their hometown. The French team of Sarah Abidbal and Stefan Bernadis in first place after the short program. And we understand that they may be attempting the throw triple axel. If you watch the Olympics in Nagano, Japan, they attempted it there. It was not done. However, she flipped off the edge. It was close. Will it happen here? It's hard to say. Well, no. It is the fourth element if they do it. And if they do it, it would be the first time it has ever been done. guess is if they hit these side-by-side -side triple toe loops and those are going well, a better chance that we'll see it. So that was a pretty good start there. Continuing to warm up the jumps. Double axles, looking really solid. They're going to go for it. It's going to be right here. Now, just a double, playing it safe, and that's OK. Remember, this is a good battle going on between Abby Bowl and Bernadies and the Americans, Ina and Zimmerman, who are in second place after the short, right behind them. Both tied in the overall Grand Prix standings. triple loop. You can just see the height she gets, but she didn't stop the rotation to have a nice continuous edge on the landing there. Unique positions. The lift, notice how they just change directions at the end there. Difficult.
usual variation on the death spiral. Both feet on the ice. The spread eagle position. Usually you see just one foot. And they'll wrap it up with their combination spin. How much fun must that be? Here at home, in front of your family, in front of your friends, they both live with their parents here in Paris. They have a free skate like that. Sarah Abby Bowl and Stefan Bernadette. We were looking for the throw triple axel at the beginning of the program, only a double, but I want to emphasize doing a good throw double axel is difficult, but they pushed it one step further, and now they're thinking about putting the triple in for sure at Europeans and the World Championships. However, not here. This is hard because notice he's gonna just what we call deadlift her. She does not assist him in any way. He has to press her dead weight. Very hard to do. Great control and strength. And that flip dismount showing variation. Nice. Oh, these aren't very high marks. This crowd is not going to like it at all. The first set for technical merit, 5.5 up to 5.8. Well, they, they're maybe not the greatest marks, but these are strong marks for them considering we haven't seen the second set yet. I wonder what these will do. Presentation marks next. Yeah, these are better, much better in fact. 5.7 up to 5.9. Wow. That's big. A couple of 5.9s. The French judge and the Canadian judge. Sarah Abby Fole and Stefan Bernadies in first place now. Thank you. The second place Americans will be last to skate tonight. Can the French keep their grip on the gold? 